What's up? I'm Illuminati Philosopher, giving you my insight on various topics. Now, this Cat Williams thing is very interesting. I'm going to talk about something that nobody's talking about. Absolutely nobody's talking about. All these people that he dissed have something in common. They have something strangely in common. And I'm, going to, I'm going to expose that. Uh, which actually benefits them, not hurts them. I know that he's dissing them, but the thing is that he's also helping them. I'm going to explain. So you have to understand that bad, bad publicity can sometimes be beneficial for several reasons. Firstly, it can generate attention and awareness for a person, brand, or organization, which can lead to increased visibility and ultimately more business or support. Did you know that Cat Williams has a tour coming up? Kevin Hart has a film called Lift about to drop on Netflix that some people are not aware of, but they are aware now because of this fiasco, because people start researching and, and getting involved, right? Because everything I'm telling you, you could research yourself. Also, Kevin Hart has a tour coming up this month. Cedric the Entertainer has a tour starting this month. I also didn't know that he has a television series, The Neighborhood. Steve Harvey has a judge show that I wasn't aware of, and he probably has some stuff coming up sometime early this year. Ludacris is starting a tour this month. Michael Blackson is starting a tour in February. Rick Smiley is going to do a tour in February. I found out also on Shay Shay interview that he has a Netflix deal. Before all this, I didn't know who Rick Smiley was. And I recently watched Friday After Next. And I'm sure a lot of people did as well. I know all this because of the Cat Williams interview on Shay Shay. And it was so brilliant because if they come at him behind the scenes, all he has to say, are your numbers up? Okay, good. Now what's the problem? He's dissing them, he's giving them attention, and this uh, shows that like the people will gravitate towards uh, finding out what, what's going on, and then they'll watch their shows, they'll watch their specials, and then all of a sudden, hey, you know, he has a tour coming up. I didn't know that, blah, blah, blah. This is advertisement for them. Because when you promote something, you should just talk about yourself. Why are you dragging other people in? Right? Why are you dragging other people in? You should be talking about yourself. But Cat Williams is so devious. He's so savage. He's kind. He's generous. <laughs> he's giving attention not only to himself, but to his fellow comics. Like he has this, this, this love-hate relationship with himself and also with his fellow comics. But you can't say that he's not helping them because he's shining a light on them and there's a lot of tension. Cedric the Entertainer, he wasn't in my mind at all. Um, Rick Smiley wasn't in my mind. All of a sudden, we're learning about these people, Ludacris and stuff like that. And then we do our research and we find out that, oh my goodness, they have things going on uh, recently, soon. They have stuff going on. And it's like, well, he's drawing attention to that. So he's actually helping these people while dissing them at the same time. Bad publicity can sometimes be beneficial for several reasons. Firstly, it can generate attention and awareness for a person, brand, or organization which can lead to increased visibility, ultimately more business or support. So ultimately, like, Cat is brilliant. He's vicious, kind, savage, and a generous guy once you understand him. Like, share, subscribe, and make a comment. Thanks. Two pieces, Malone. Yeah, baby. It's gonna be good, right? I'm so hungry. What the hell you doing in my house? Eating a big ass sandwich and shit. Nigga, I'm Santa Claus. What the fuck, the milk and cookies? Santa Claus. Oh, shit.